Alright guys, so welcome to the Nerd Militia. We are taking a second look at Ant-Man and the Wasp because I don't think people realize how big this movie really is. I mean, it's a great movie, but there is a like a secret code to this thing that I don't think everybody's picking up on. And it's kind of a theory, but I think it's a strong theory. So let's get right into this. Starting off, Ant-Man and the Wasp is like the most family-oriented Marvel movie out right now. Like, it's super cool. I mean, the the cast is just great. Um, it's funny. There's, there's some things that happen in it, but it's not too dark. Like, even Spider-Man Homecoming got super dark. This movie is just so... There's just like just so much fun to it. Paul Rudd is always great. Um, Evangeline Lilly... Um, she she plays uh, Hank Pym's daughter so well. Like she she carries on that like self important everything's about her type thing with the you know all Pims do. And then like she's like super beautiful, which is always a plus. So that's pretty cool. And um, Ti and Michael Pia they all did like awesome in this movie. Like I just love the whole, I just love the cast. The cast is just truly amazing. I suspect that. Um, DC's uh, Shazam is going to be made in the same vein as Ant-Man. Like, it's going to be that family-oriented type uh, movie. It's, it's working pretty well. Like I said, I liked it. I thought it was a fun ride. You guys should go out and enjoy it. So now, this is where we're going to get into spoiler territory. So, spo spoiler alert, if you guys don't want to know, <laughs> this is the time to cut the video off, okay? And this is when... I want you guys to put on your aluminum hats, your or your tin hats, and I'm gonna tell you this crazy theory I believe Marvel has been building to and what Ant-Man perfectly sets up for. My theory, it goes back to Infinity War. Um, and it goes it goes back to uh Thanos' snap. And right away when that when that happened, <laughs> I, I'm so ready. Because, again, X-Men is, like, one of my favorite Marvel properties, and I hate that it's in the hands of Fox, which is why I'm, like, super excited that Disney is buying Fox. But, um, one of my things that I went to right away was that, oh, this is awesome, half the population gets wiped out, so now they can kind of bring in, like, the mutants and Fantastic Four and all that other good stuff, right? They, there's Now there's more room for new people. So that was, the, that was my first thought. And, you know, slowly my friends chipped away at that happening. And they were like, no, they're not, they're not going to kill off all these people just to replace them with mutants. Okay, okay. I get you. I see that. And then Ant-Man 2 happens, okay? And so for this theory to work, I've got to explain to you guys two things. One, how they rescued the original Wasp Janet. And her powers. And then I have to explain to you guys the ultimate universe. So first things first. So the original Wasp, uh, her powers were just given to her through like augmentation. Okay, like in the comic book, uh, uh, Hank does some cool like augmenting to like her biochemistry, whatever. She gets the ability to, to grow and shrink at her will. But like, like, like I, what I want to stress to you guys is like this is a... Uh, augmentation this is not what she says in the movie so when janet gets rescued when hank finally rescues janet from the quantum realm right and she starts explaining to uh, hank about what's happened to her and trying to explain her new powers she tells him two things one she's adapted and two she's evolved right and these are two things that like we talk about when we're thinking about evolution now, I, after I saw this movie, I, I, I told my friends, like, we went to go see it. I was like, guys, I literally think Janet is, like, the first mutant. Like, we've just got confirmation. Like, Marvel just got their first mutant, and it's Janet. And, like, they were just like, no. she's They're just making her closer to her comic book counterpart. And, like, that got me for, like, about ten minutes. I was like, well, yeah, I guess you're probably right. It's, they're just trying to get her closer to her counterpart. But again, Janet's comic book counterpart is augmentation. It's not evolution. She wasn't born with these powers. The Ultimate Universe, how they explain their mutants, is it was the government's 
need or want to continue to try to make the super soldier serum and it a uh, canister exploded teenage mutant ninja turtle fashion uh james howlett who is wolverine was the first mutant ever affected i think and then um pretty much like that stuff or the or the chemical they made the to make the superhuman serum ended up being a chemical that awakened certain people's like latent ability like you had to have had the gene to become a mutant or something like that whatever it was man-made it was created right so that's their ex explanation and also in the ultimate universe janet the original original wasp is a mutant she has powers and mutants are evolved from and adapted from humans so we've got like somewhat of a like confirmation that mcu has got their first mutant and i know what you're thinking where are we going with this so are there going to be more mutants i think so friends as we know scott was going into the quantum realm to get what a canister full of quantum like healing power crap whatever in a little canister and then we know that he's going to be the cause for Avengers, the next Avengers, when he goes back in time, right? We already know they're going back in time. We've seen the set photo photos of Chris Evans in his old Captain America suit from uh, Avengers 1. And they're all in this, like, weird time-spinning gadgets. We get it. We know he's going back into time. So who's to say that with this canister, he goes back into time and the canister, canister accidentally explodes? Boom. MCU's mutants. It's, I mean, like, this thing goes, like, hand in hand with the ultimate version of mutants. They were made out from this canister, or from, they were man-made, and now we have them. And then with Janet having superpowers, and saying in the movie that she's adapted, so she's been in the realm, and she's evolved. Not that she was experimented on, not that she was, like, these things were put into her, she wasn't augmented in any way, nobody did a surgery on it, no. Her genes evolved. We have mutants in the MCU. X-Men, here we come. We're here. We're here, guys. So, guys, this is what I think. This is my theory. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let's talk about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. As usual, guys, stay cool, and I'll catch you guys later.